Today in math, we are going to draw and recognize shapes that have equal shares. That means that they are cut into a certain number of pieces, but those pieces are equal. Let's take a look here at some squares. Now, as you can see, these squares are not broken up into any pieces yet. We want to take these squares and let's cut them in half. Now we might not be able to fill all of these squares, but let's practice cutting a shape in half. So on the first square, I can cut my shape in half by cutting it from side to side. This shape has equal shares if the top and the bottom are the same size. Now, when we draw it with a pencil, it is a little bit hard to get it perfectly equal, but we try our best. If I cut my shape like this, that is not equal shares because the top section is much bigger than this bottom section. So even if we're drawing it, we want to try to get it as equal as possible, even if it's not going to be perfect. Now, Another way that we could cut to make it equal shares in half is by going up and down. Now I have a left piece and a right piece. Hmm, I wonder what's a third way I could cut this shape in half. Do you think I could go like this? Are those two pieces equal? No, I think we're on to something, but I don't think it's that. I wonder if I could cut from corner to corner. Oh, those look equal. The left side and the right side look pretty close. And then what could the last way be for this square? Hmm, the last one on the top. What if we did sort of a flip-flop? That looks good too. Just like I flip-flopped the first two, I also flip-flopped the second two. Now, do you think that there are any more ways that I could do this to cut the shapes in half? Oh, let's try a couple of other ways. What if I try this way? Does that work? No, that's not, that doesn't work. That's not how we cut shapes in half. These four ways are the only ways that we can cut a square in half. Now I'm going to erase the halves and the next activity is we're going to practice cutting our shapes into fourths. Now fourths has the number four in it. That means it's going to have four equal pieces. So with this one, we will be able to fill up all of our squares. So let's start with four equal pieces with some of the easier ways that we are used to doing. Maybe I could go up, down, and side to side. Not perfect, but they are four equal pieces. Maybe I could make an X, kind of like when I cut them in half on the last one. I could make an X to go like that. That looks good. Let's try, hmm, let's try going from side to side. Let's first cut in half, that's two pieces. Then let's cut each of those in half. Are those about four equal pieces? Yes, they are. And then we can do a flip-flop again. We can cut in half, then cut in half, cut in half, that's four pieces. Even though we drew three lines, there's still one, two, three, four pieces, even with the three lines. Okay, now the last couple, there, there's a lot of ways we could cut this into four pieces. How about this way? What if we cut straight up and down, and then we make like the letter V upside down? Now you might say those don't really look like four equal pieces, but they actually are. Now my drawing's not perfect, of course, but we could do that. We could also do it flip-flopped. We could go up and down, then we could make a V like this. That also makes four equal pieces. Hmm, 
I wonder if we could cut side to side and then make like a zigzag. Oh, I like that one. I could also cut side to side and just like the other ones, I could make a V coming off of there. There are so many ways to make four equal pieces with a square or a rectangle. So make sure you take a look and see how many different ways you can find to make four equal pieces. For the next piece, we're going to use these two rectangles to cut our shapes into thirds. Now thirds means three equal pieces. Now with a rectangle, there are only two different ways that we could make thirds with a rectangle. Do you think you know one of the ways? I'll give you a hint. They are ones that we also did with fourths. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this one going side to side to make one, two, three pieces. Now we don't cut that one in the middle because we need this middle section to be one of the thirds, but we give a nice space in the middle to help us with our thirds. Now we can flip flop that to go up and down. Thirds, one, two, three pieces. So with a rectangle, there are only two ways to make thirds. How about a circle? Oh, the circle is a little bit tricky because circles are not great for making thirds, but we can do it. Let's start with halves. As you know, when we cut something in half, we cut it into two pieces. Now with a circle, this could be done many ways. I could go up and down. I could also go side to side. I could even cut my circle diagonally. Really, I could cut anywhere in my circle as long as I go straight across. Now mine, of course, are not great. And another one that's easy for the circle is to cut into fourths. I could cut one, two, three, four. I could also make an X. Watch this, one, two, three, four. So that also cuts it into four equal pieces. Now, here's a question I have. What if I go like this? One, two, three, four. I made four pieces, didn't I? Are those all equal pieces? No, they are not. Look at these two little side pieces over here. Those pieces are so much smaller than these big pieces in the middle. And if they are equal, that means that they all must be the same size. So I can't put a little sliver over here and over here and make two bigger pieces in the middle. My goal is to try to make equal sized pieces. Now, what if I want to cut this circle into thirds, which is three equal pieces? Hmm. Now, when I had the rectangle, I could only do that by going like this. Oh, that doesn't look right, does it? That big piece is, okay, let's see. Maybe I could do it going like this. Oh, that middle piece, it's that middle piece. It's so tricky because it always is so much bigger. Now thirds in a circle is a very special kind of equal piece problem. Thirds is very interesting. Are you ready to see how to cut a circle into thirds? Here we go. We're going to go about halfway down our circle with a straight line down, and then we're going to go diagonal diagonal. Now that might not be perfect since I'm doing this on a computer. It's a little bit tricky, but the only way to make thirds in a circle, it almost looks like a peace sign. If you've ever seen any clothing or anything with a peace sign on it, 
we go about halfway down the middle, then we make a little V. It kind of looks like the letter Y. If I make it going the opposite direction, which I can also do, I can go up about a third or half and go like that. It kind of looks like the letter Y. But this is the only way that you can take a circle and cut it into three equal pieces. It's a very special shape for thirds. Let's look at these activities. In this activity, you will see there are four shapes and they are all in two pieces, which we call halves. But one of these is not in equal pieces. Do you spot which one does not have equal pieces? I think you're right. This one here does not have equal pieces. The left side is so much bigger than the little right side. So this one does not have equal pieces and we cannot use it to represent halves. Let's look at the next one. I see that all of these pieces have four pieces in them, but there's one that does not have equal pieces. Remember, they all need to be equal. Do you see the one that does not have equal pieces? Is it the first one? No, those ones look pretty good. Oh, I think I've spotted it. It's this last one. Look at that. Now, the middle two pieces are okay. These two in the middle. But look at these tiny two little slivers over on the side. They are not the same size as those two middle pieces. So the one that does not belong is this one over here. And the last problem today is looking at thirds. Now I see that all of these have three pieces, but we're looking for the one that does not fit because it does not have three equal pieces. Hmm. Oh, let's check our circle. Oh, this circle looks good. They have the Y. I know that is the only way to make three equal pieces in a circle. So if this is the only way then what about this circle over here? Can I make a circle with three equal pieces by drawing lines like that? No, I cannot because even though they look almost equal, these two side pieces are not the same size as the middle piece. They might look it, but remember, the only way to cut a circle into thirds is to make that Y or that peace sign.